Hi, in this video I want to share on a different way how to structure a React application. And I want to take as example this Spotify app that I made in React. And I want to focus in this component, the, the player bar. So as you can see here, this is the file the, that represents the player in the bottom of the screen and I split it down into three major parts as you can notice the track information that is this component the player that is this player controls and the bottom group that finally is this more action buttons in this place. So, what is the different approach in, in the, the, that I'm using with this extension? Is that instead of creating this component, uh, for example, in inside an, an, another directory, is something like components, components, right? And, and I, I can't create these three files inside this this directory instead of that what I did was I created them inside the parent file so as you can notice next to the file name you can you can see this expand icon so if I click on this so we are able to to see those files so you can notice that in this approach is different and I can go further in this way for example if I open the player I can see here for example these are the buttons that they are in this place and for example I want to define the progress bar and separate it than the, this the, the parent file that it is the player. So what what I can do following this this approach is instead of creating this progress bar next to the player bar, I'm sorry, next to the player file, what I can do is click and new and press and press and pressing a new nested file. So I can create this file for example progress bar tsx and I will define this yes I will copy all, all these things to get better fine yep yep so here we go so now I have the pro the progress bar in this file and now I will replace all the thing with the progress bar no it's not there yes here we go so now following this different approach uh, of a uh, file nesting I can create the children components of this, in, for example, for this player in, inside the own file. And, and I mean, and I can go for, the, for example, for the boring group. I will move in here. And so this, this file represents all this part, right? And I can. And, and as we know, if I click on the microphone or the speaker, that will trigger more actions, right? More components, more user user experience. So I want to define all those things in a separated file. So following the same approach, instead of creating more files next to the to the parent, I will create more nested files. So, for example, I will microphone action. Micro 
from action I will um, export yes yes okay and another button could be the speaker speaker action again I will create another nested file speaker action the same thing I will define yes 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 okay here we go so after this I can replace these things with the components that I created for example this is oh no the microphone is this so I will microphone yes the other component was the speaker so I can go here speaker action yes there's another error over here so this new approach to me is easier to to navigate in the file system you know this way the, the, the this way to see the the files and, and folders following the react hierarchy tree the the how the the components are organized visually you know to see the files in this way to me is easier to navigate and see the relationship between the different files so I hope that this could be useful to you also and if you want to give it a give it a try you can go in the extension market in your IDE and file and, f and find this extension as react file nesting explorer uh, you can ins install this extension but also it's important th that this depends on on another extension that is material icon theme so it's important that you have both extensions in your IDE to get the full experience of course and once you installed this extension the only thing that you have to do is by default you can see this you will see this in the explorer panel you will see the the file system uh, tree view and the only thing that you will notice on uh, at the bottom of this is this new panel the file nesting explorer and once you open this this new panel is very similar like the the full file system explorer but the difference is that you will be able to see the components in this way in, in this nested way in this explorer if you try to use the default file system expl explorer you will notice that the 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 file system looks a bit different and this is why this is how the, the this extension works behind scene so for that reason is that once you install this and you want to use it you have to work on this uh, file system explorer also is if you want to get more in, 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 in information about this extension you can go in the description of the of, of the extension market in this place I left more examples and use cases and of course if you are interested you can take a look at the medium post that I made a few months ago I got deeper more in in the in the design principle and in 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 what was the motivation of those things and of course i will i'm leaving examples of how to use it so you find this extension useful 
uh, please leave your like in this video so that help that will help more people to find this information and of course leave your comments in the video or in the review the the extension review so that will help me to get any box or get improve this extension thank you so much bye bye